In this video, I'm going to be talking about E1 and E2 elimination reactions. Elimination reactions are those reactions whereby two substituents are removed from the molecule. There are two mechanisms. We have the E1 and the E2 reaction mechanism. In E1 reactions, two steps are involved and these reactions are favored by weak bases like water and alcohol. In E2 reactions, what you have is just a one-step reaction mechanism and these reactions are favored by strong bases and aprotic solvents. Examples are listed on the screen. You have the that butoside, the DBN, LDA, OH minus, ORO minus, and NH2 minus. Um, we have some other that are not listed here. Reaction mechanisms. So we have the primary alkyl halides, and these are the ones that the carbon bearing the halogen group, that Cl, is only attached to one other carbon. Okay, so this particular primary alkyl halide undergo only E2 reaction mechanisms. Okay, and for if you want to understand more about classification of alkyl halides, I have a video on that and please check that out that will help you understand what i mean by primary secondary and tertiary alkyl halides now for stability of carbocation it increases from primary to tertiary carbocation so what we have here um we have the primary alkyl halide we have the secondary alkyl halide and we have the tertiary alkyl halide so when the chlorines here are lost the carbocation is formed in its place. The stability increases from primary to tertiary. Okay. In this example, we are asked to draw or write the reaction mechanism for this particular equation. And here, before you can proceed, you need to be sure of which of the mechanism you are using. Will it be the E1? Will it be the E2 reaction mechanism? Now we we'll look at the base that was given. Here it is water. And I mentioned earlier that water favors E1 reaction. So since this is E1 reaction, uh, in E1 reaction, the first step is we have two steps involved. So the first step would be the elimination of the halide. Or the halogen and in this case that is the bromine okay so the bromine lives on its own nothing prompts it okay so when it leaves we then have a carbocation forming on the carbon that it was eliminated from and that's your first step this first step is the slow step okay so you have this formed the next step would then be that the water would be removing one of the hydrogens and the bond will break in forming the double bond and that would then give us the product which is this in this example we were also asked to draw the mechanism and the first thing is to ascertain which of the mechanisms we're going to use. Is it the E1? Is it the E2 reaction mechanism? Now, if we look at this, this is a secondary alkyl halide and secondary alkyl halides will undergo both, can undergo both E1 and E2 elimination reactions. So after this the next step would then be to look at the base that was given if you look at this base you see it's um, negative ot oet which favors e2 reaction mechanism it's a strong base and so because of this we're going to proceed with the e2 elimination reaction now remember i said that e2 elimination reaction is, is a one-step reaction mechanism um, because of that um, we're going to start with making sh picking up 
one of the hydrogens. Now, in E2 reaction, the hydrogen that will be removed must be anti to the carbon bearing to the halogen that will be removed. So, in that case, we are going to be picking the hydrogen from this carbon. So, uh, not the other one because that one is as adjacent. So, we'll pick that hydrogen, the bond breaks in, and then, of course, that halogen will be removed because carbon cannot have more than four bonds, right? So, this is just a one step reaction and it gives us the product, which is an alkene. All right, for this one too, we are asked to draw the mechanism. You have to figure out what type of mechanism to use. So looking at this, what did they give us? This is an alcohol, ethanol. So because it's an alcohol, we're gonna go straight to use E1 elimination reaction. Now, uh, E1 reaction. Now look here, this here is a tertiary alkyhalide. Because this is one carbon here, two carbon here, and then three. Okay, so it's attached to three things, uh, three carbons, and that makes it tertiary alkylate. So it can undergo both E1, E2 reaction. But well, this is what made us choose the E1 because this is alcohol and alcohol and water. There was E1 reaction. So we go ahead and do E1, and E1 starts with the Chlorine breaking off. And this is what we're going to have. And of course, with a carbocation in place of where the chlorine was originally. Okay. Now, after this, the next step would be the alcohol deprotonating a, or removing a hydrogen from the adjacent carbon forming a double bond so the bond will break in forming a double bond and that will then give us the product which is an alkene um, a cycloalkene in this case and then this is another one what type of pressure mechanism would this undergo? We look at it. This is a secondary alkyhalide. So if we look at this one here, um, this is the type of base that will favor E2 reaction mechanism. So this is going to be E2. I'm going to take. Okay, and remember that the, the hydrogen has to come from the opposite side. Okay, and so it's going to come from see, here. So this is going to take this hydrogen, this breaks down here, and then this goes away. So we're going to have. Okay, so for this one, uh, for this type, I just want to show you how to know the major and the minor products using this example. So here, of course, because it's water, is E1 reaction, right? And this breaks up, gives us the carbocation here. And the water then picks the hydrogen here. This breaks down, and we have this product. Now, this could have also come from here. The hydrogen could have also come from here. And we have this. 
and it breaks in God. Now, when it does this, this is going to give us this product here. Now, these two products are correct, but this one is more stable, and that's the major product. Why this is the minor product? This is because you have, like I said earlier, that stability is from primary to tertiary. Okay? Here you have a tertiary carbocation in both. Okay? A tertiary carbon, a carbon bearing three different carbons. And of course, this alkyl is more stable there than here. So here is between the secondary and the tertiary carbon. And so this is going to be minor. This is less than when you compare it to this particular one. Okay, so I'm going to be using this to explain hydra shift. Now for this um, reaction, this is also E1 reaction because it's water, right? So this is going to leave forming a carbocation, which is going to be here, okay? Now, the challenge with this is that you have a better cap, you are going to have a better cap cation if it is here. Okay, if it is here, it's going to be better than here. So, we're going to swap this with this. So, this is going to swap. Okay, and you have a more stable cap cation. Remember, I said earlier that. Um, Stability of carbocation is from primary to second to tertiary, and this is secondary. Okay, this is secondary carbocation, so it will be more stable if it is on the tertiary carbocation. If, if it is a tertiary carbocation, so it's going to swap pieces to give it more stability. So you're going to then have the positive sign here and the H that will be removed at this point. Okay. So we then have the H now to be removed from by the water and this breaks down and you have the most stable product. So this is a major product. 